Indigo is looking to hear from riders as it continues working on some major changes across the Circle City. The agency is hosting a number of open house meetings starting today. Our Michael Van Skoik is in the studio to explain what progress has been made, plus what is still ahead. Michael, good morning. Hey, good morning. Lots of work has been done in the last several years since Indigo kicked off its future service plan back in 2016. The red line is now complete and the purple line is already under construction, but there's still a lot of work ahead. That's why the agency is hosting four public meetings. The first one kicking off at the Justice Center today and Indigo says it wants feedback from riders to make sure their needs still align with current plans. The bus network is moving from a hub spoke model to a grid based system. It says so far this has helped create shorter wait times, faster service and more crosstown options. Routes now also operating seven days a week. But we want to share the information that riders gave us several years ago. We had lots of meetings before the pandemic and got lots of feedback. So we want to put that information back out there, remind riders what they told us back then, get any additional feedback and any additional tweaks that maybe we can make to that plan. Overall, the agency wants to help boost ridership, which took a dip during the pandemic. There will be a third meeting on Thursday. A virtual one is set for next Tuesday. This new future service plan would become the long range plan for the next five years. If approved by the agency's board of directors, that meeting takes place next month. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.